Hi everyone, my name is Eliza and this is Eliza's Bookshelf. Today I want to show you guys the books that made me break my book buying ban, my 2023 book buying ban. I bought this I think on Saturday so I really did not even last a week for this book buying ban and I'm going to try to figure out what to do for the rest of this year because I'm terrible at book buying bans. I think I'm going to do something like oh read 10 books buy a book something like that or Bandana Book Mom has this system going on where she's going to exercise for points to get books. I don't know I'm just going to have to figure out something else because Quitting cold turkey is not working for me, but I wanted to show you guys the books that I got. I only got two books, so not too bad, and I have a really good reason for buying them, actually. <laughs> it's always a good reason, but... So, I've already had this book by Brandon Sanderson, Hero of Ages. This is the third book in the first era of Mistborn, but I never had, like, the first two. Actually, scratch that. I did have the first two, but not in not on hardcover. So initially when I read Mistborn, I bought it in this like mass market paperback, which is good for me kind of seeing if I liked Brandon Sanderson. So these were the first books that I ever read from him and I loved it. But the covers are kind of not my favorite. So that's Mistborn and this is Well of Ascension and The Hero of Ages, the third one. And so they're nice and compact and floppy, so I like them, but they're not my favorite covers at all. <laughs> so a long time ago, I did buy Hero of Ages. I just never bought the other two. And so the reason why I bought these two books, this is Mistborn or The Final Empire, and this is The Well of Ascension. I think this is my favorite cover out of all three of them. But the reason why I bought it to complete my hardcover collection is because Brandon Sanderson is coming out with new covers this year in February. And I just kind of freaked out and I was scared that these covers would not be available anymore. And who knows? I, I'm not sure. I heard someone say that they are just releasing in paperback, but I don't know. I just freaked out and I wanted to buy these covers. So these are the books that made me break my 2023 book buying ban. And if you guys haven't read Mistborn, The Final Empire, Basically, it's the question of what if the hero never defeated the bad guy or the ruler, whatever, right? And so this world is the world you have when the ruler or the evil guy actually defeated who was destined to save everyone. So it's a really, really crazy world that Brandon Sanderson built and I love the characters. You have Vin who is like a 16 year old girl and she's discovering her powers and the magic system in Mistborn is one of my favorites of all time too. It's like super easy to follow. I love it so much. Just getting back into this world. Okay, so <sighs> Mistborn is the term for those people who actually are able to use all of these different powers, but you have the magic system called allomancy and allomancers are the ones who can use these powers but basically you swallow some sort of metal and you're able to use the powers based on that metal. Most allomancers can only use one type of metal and the mistborn are those who are able to use all of them but for example if you are able to ingest steel and burn that type of metal then you are able to push on nearby metals and that you know with that power you can like fly or like jump certain areas those people are called coin shots so there's a lot of different you know titles and metals that you can burn but mistborn specifically are those that can do all of them and so, yes, you get into the lives of Vin and she meets like this whole gang and it's found family of sorts. I love it so much, but they're trying to come together and beat the evil ruler. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed my failure, <laughs> but I love it so much. And I don't know, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with the rest of the year. I did make a bet with my husband that um, if I break my book buying ban, then I'll have to pay for his next tattoo, which is going to be like, eight hundred dollars eight hundred to a thousand dollars I'm presuming so these two books really cost me a thousand bucks um I don't know whatever <laughs> okay well I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini mini very mini book haul hopefully I won't go crazy and just like keep buying more because I failed at my book buying ban but who knows all right I will see you guys next time bye